and welcome to today's video. As a book blogger, have you ever wondered where you fit in in the book blogging community? And do you even know what the average stats for book bloggers are? Today's video is for you. Okay, so um, recently I ran a book blogging survey um, which I did via the polls on Twitter, okay? And I put all the information, all the results and everything that I gathered into a blog post over at joleenstyle.com. So I'll link that up for you there so you can see everything on there. Now, there was four basic questions um, in this survey. Now, the first one was, how long have you been blogging? Now, whilst there were... Um, new bloggers and older bloggers like myself that have been doing it for over 10 years, 60% of the book bloggers that answered the survey have been doing it for one to five years. Okay, now this is, it's good. It's good news because it means that um, not only are book bloggers still book blogging, but there's also lots of new book blogs coming up as well. But us uh, older ancient book bloggers are still sticking around. So um, that's a very positive uh, view there. Now, next up, um, we had how many page views do you get per month on average? Now, this one um, I found very surprising, okay, because over 83% of the book bloggers that responded to the survey were getting lower than 5,000 page views a month. Okay, now, this again, we're looking at, so it, this could depend on a lot of different factors. Like I said, the majority of book bloggers around at the moment have been around for one to five years. So they're still relatively new, so that they, they don't have maybe massive followings yet and things. So that is something we need to bear in consideration when we're thinking about this. But um, 5,000 views per month um, is very low. I mean, my highest is over 47,000 page views in the month. Um, at the moment, uh, because this year I've had COVID twice <laughs> and uh, badly both times. So, um, not been doing as as normally would but i'm still averaging around thirty thousand page views per month uh, so it's even without really promoting my posts that much and um, posting less than i would usually and things as well because a, a lot of my posts i'd set them up in advance and then i was ill so i couldn't do others um, and so i missed a few of my usual posting days doing it but still averaging about 30,000 a month so for me to discover that the average for book blogger, bloggers is under 5,000 it kind of blew me away because I was expecting it to be much higher than that um, but again that that could be depending on various different things you see um, it depends on what kind of book blogger you are I mean I post about books and blogging so whilst I do post a lot of book reviews, it's not my sole content to my blog. I also post um, a lot of posts for, for book bloggers. So content ideas, um, explaining uh, more technical aspects like um, the keywords, MS the data, um, all those kind of things, like the background information for it and things like that. So I have, um, posts there as well. I have a lot of evergreen posts on my blog as well, um, which again are helpful ones. Um, posts like, um, I have one post in particular, which is about things that every blog post should have um, in them. And that is just like crazy traffic, like crazy, crazy, crazy traffic. So, um, I, I don't know what to make of that. I think in, in a lot of cases, a lot of book bloggers are potentially just posting book reviews and therefore their readership is lower because of that. I don't know. Maybe I, sh I should add in maybe some extra questions into next year's survey. Um, 
Anyway, so that's that. Then, on average, how many comments do you get on your blog posts each day? Okay, now comments, despite having a high traffic site, I don't get a lot of engagement on my posts. I don't get a lot of comments on a daily basis. And turns out, I'm not the only one because this is a problem that seems to be facing all book bloggers, pretty much. Um, the majority of people are getting one to five comments on their blog posts in a day. So, uh, and that's irrelevant of the amount of traffic they have going to their site. So the small people, the small bloggers that are getting under 5,000 views a month, or the bigger bloggers like myself that are, you know, have almost 50,000 page views in a month, we're still, both of us getting hardly any comments. So um, that's something really interesting. Also, the people that said that they are getting higher numbers of comments, so over 10, over 20 comments a day, most of them are taking part in um, weekly memes, uh, memes that um, there are, which is based on the fact that everyone taking part visits the other people taking part and leaves a comment on their blog. Okay, so that's connected in there as well. Um, the last question that I asked was, where does your blog traffic come from? Okay. Um, now this one it was very close but um, in the lead we have search engines which is my personal uh, that's where i get most of my traffic from is from search engines like google um okay and secondly close very close second is from social media links okay other things like newsletters and that hardly anything apparently um so the big key players when it comes to driving traffic to your side are the search engines and social media links. Now, this brings us um, to think about other important aspects. So, if most content is coming through from search engines, that means that it's even more important that we're paying attention to the SEO of our sites and all that aspect of it so that they are more discoverable from the search engines like Google and so that we result better in search engine results when people are searching for specific things or specific books. Um, then the social media link. So obviously social media, yes, does drive a lot of traffic. It is important. Um, I get most of my traffic from social media it comes from Pinterest and Twitter. Now it has to be said, Pinterest and Twitter are also the social media sites where I more actively share my content. So it could be down to that as well. I have a stronger following um, on those platforms as opposed to others. Um, so I, that could be an aspect in it, but obviously it's not just where you promote your content, it's also where other people, other people are sharing your content too. Okay, which brings us to a very important thing, which I want to bring up here, which is the importance of having social share buttons on your blog posts. Now, this it's so frustrating for me when I come across a really good blog post that I want to share and there's no social share buttons on it. So I would actually have to copy and paste the link and everything else and create a post to be able to share it. Whereas with the social share buttons, just a click of the button and it's done. So you can imagine which kind of post is gonna get more social shares. The one with the social share buttons on it is the correct answer. Um, so very, very important to do that. It's also very important that you have an image on every post that you do because that um, means that it can be shared on sites like Pinterest as well, where it's all visual content, okay? So if you're missing out on these elements in your blog post, then that's gonna mean that you're missing out on a lot of traffic as well, which could also be another reason why a lot of book bloggers are getting low page views per month, because they're not formatting um, their blog posts to their full potential. They're not leveraging them um, as much as they could be, both for how they share the content but also in how easy they make it for other people who are reading their content to then share it as well. Okay, so anyway, this this whole survey thing brought up a lot of things. Um, one of the reasons why I did this was because I came across um, another survey. So same kind of questions, that kind of stuff. There was a few extra ones on her one by Brianna from 
Unbound Pages. Um, I will add a link down in the comment section for her survey. Go and take it. She does it um, regularly, these surveys. And looking at the past results of her surveys and comparing them to what I discovered, they are very similar. Okay, so this is a good indication of the results for the industry um, and the community in general. Okay, so book blogging in general. Um, so anyway, I, again, I will link down in the description um, my blog post where you can see all of the um, specifics um, and the stats for this so you can see where you fit in to this. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Um, please do join in down on the comments both on this post and also over on the blog as well and let me know where you fit in on the book blogging community. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.